So uh, we are doing a little kitchen modification. So if you've, I don't know, I've done some other videos in the house here, so you might have seen there used to be a big L-shaped island here. And eventually, um, you can see all the wires and stuff there. That stove is going to go back over there. The refrigerator is going to go back over there. And uh, basically, we're just making a little bit of modification. We got some scissors here. We're just going to chop these things out of our way. All right, so, so what we have here, as you can see, is three different cabinet setups. And we are going to kind of move them around a little bit to determine exactly how we want them. Now I'm hoping, yeah, so the sides are finished, what I wanted. Finished sides. Why are you standing back there, Trace? Let's put in the trash over here because it's got to get dumped anyways. So there's really nothing to unbox in these things, as you can see. There's my lovely assistant. We have one that's a drawer on top and two cabinets and it's got a shelf. And then we have one that's um, three drawers. Oh, they even got they even include the little bumpers for the front of the drawers, so they're quiet. And a deeper drawer. I don't know what the weight capacity of these are, but the fronts are. Well, what I do like is the drawers are actually wood. Aren't they wood? Eh, I don't know. They're not super expensive. They did have a cheaper model there, um, and we didn't buy that because they were really cheap. We got these at Home Depot. You know, these are certainly not custom made by any stretch of the imagination. But um, are they wood? Yeah, it looks yeah. like they are wood. All right, so the, the back yeah, the drawers are actual wood. So that's good. And the bottom is a piece of panel. Um, the only thing that's not real wood that I can see is the um, box itself. You can see it's the, but that's the industry standard now for your run of the mill off the counter cabinet unless you have it custom made. So what we need to do, oh, and then we have one over here. It's a, a drawer and um, just a cabinet. Now I think we can reverse the um, doors if need be. So depending on where we want to set up, but I think Tracy wants the set of drawers at this end. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there first. You want to help me? We'll lift it up out of here. Ah, I don't want to lift on that. It's not that strong. So, so essentially here, and I'm going to tip this down. So I'm going to try to avoid the rest of the house. It's a piled up mess over there because of this. So essentially we're going to create another island here. Uh, with these three cabinets, so um, this will be next, Trace. I want well, to make sure that space stays there. It's got to stay because that. Ooh, that's gonna be a big island because mm -hmm. the other one came this way further mm -hmm. and it may still be able to once we swap the stove and stuff over all right let's get the last one and this may not be where the way we keep it now we just got to decide really the layout if we want it like this or not and so what we're going to do actually just uh, so the ends are finished which is nice the only thing that's not finished is, like, is the back and then oh that's damage down there and then well there's quite a bit of damage to that one mm -hmm. um, and then we will put either the panel back that we used to have here uh, for, for a finish 
and then of course we're gonna have we're gonna put a bar top back here the way it was um, this is the heck of a trace let's get the actual countertop and set it on it something's wrong here trace oh no I guess not yeah there is something wrong what's wrong what the hell why does it say did we measure wrong I think you measured wrong I thought it looked okay if I might say is that going to be long enough All right, well, we're going to cut this part of the video out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause you know, this for a minute. Um, so you might have saw there that I mismeasured somehow and got the wrong countertop. So this is a couple of, anyways, I, I brought that one back that day, got the new countertop, which is over, uh, sitting on the couch right now, and I had to cut off this much of it. Um, because it was longer than we needed so um i have this on here just because i was taking measurements as to what i needed to do what i was going to do for the back here um, but what we need to do now is fasten these cabinets together and so i um you know this these are these are home depot this is kind of a review too these are from home depot as i probably said earlier um they're cheap these are not expensive cabinets at all uh, I mean, you know, they cost, you know, I think there's six, seven hundred dollars here, maybe even, yeah, something probably like that, seven hundred bucks. And, uh, you know, they do use pocket hole screws, but I can see um, that, you know, the wood split there. The, um, the back of this one has got all kinds of damage on it. But, you know, once you get these things home and unboxed, you know, who wants to go back? So, yeah, it ticks you off. And the back of the cheap, too. And that's what the drawers are. Um, the draw runners are hooked into incidentally, but you can see this damage here. This is not even stapled to the back anymore. Uh, this board's been pushed in. So that obviously happened. You're probably shipping to the store or mishandled at the store or whatever. But it is what it is. I'm going to reinforce them. So what I found uh, after getting the cabinets um, up against each other, and of course we'll have to line all this up, I found a piece of plywood that is the exact right width to slide down in here, like so. And um, then when we screw this together, we're going to screw in from here into this both ways. And I'm going to put one in the back as well. Um, and that will give us, you know, first it's going to connect them all together, which you need to do too. I just don't dare uh, to screw into this face fascia board here, um, you know, the front to pull these tight. I just don't trust the quality of the wood um, from splitting. So I'm gonna move it back into this particle crap here, but put plywood in, in between with it. And that's gonna probably give us a little bit of an issue, but not not much. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see how it goes. Now you definitely want it below this top here because you don't want it interfering with your counter. And that won't go through. All right. Yeah, see, it's just the quality of this stuff sucks. A second person would be very helpful here, uh, but I don't have that, so. Boy, I'm very disappointed with the quality of these things, but, you know, you should know. When you buy this stuff mass-produced and pre-made, quality is not going to be that good. All right, let me show you something else a little bit about the quality. I'm not putting this on my head here, but... Um, look at this staple work here. Hopefully you can see that. All these staples are sticking out. And then um, I bought these exact same time. Exact same Home Depot. Exact same brand. Exact same uh, finish on the front. Check this out. Are these guys these guys are next to each other on the shelf. So look at this um, hinge setup here. How this is designed. And then... Look at these ones here. These are the adjustable. Uh, you know, they're a a designed to adjust, obviously, because there's two um, doors here, and you want to be able to line them up. But why don't they just install the same hinges so these can be adjusted, too? You may not have another door you're up against, but you still want to square with the cabinet. Instead, they give you these cheapies, so they can't even stay consistent across the board. Um, anyway, uh, so, you know... And the other thing is these draw slides are, you know, like bottom of the barrel. And this wasn't even the cheap 
cheaper cabinets. They had a cheaper set that was really junky. So beware uh, of, of buying these Home Depot cabinets. Uh, like I said, I'm going to strengthen them up. Uh, the boards are warped too in the front here. Um, I was able to get it somewhat flush in the middle here and down here, but then it's off here and I had all I can do to pry it to get it to back in place and then it twists and goes off the other way. Uh, so I've got it as close as I can. can. I'll probably try and get a little bit closer, but so that's another quality issue. Uh, anyway, you know, you get what you pay for. These are cheap, cheap cabinets, but they will serve their purpose. And when I uh, reinforce them, and I'm going to be putting my own um, pocket hole screws in, as you can see, in different spots here to really uh, strengthen them up. This will be to go up into the countertop, obviously. But I'll be uh, adding a few of those here to strengthen up. But if you don't have the stuff to do that, and you just think you're going to bring these things home and slap them together, I got news for you. You're probably going to have some issues um, because the quality is just junk. But it is what it is. Stick around as we uh, continue to, to continue to move forward on this. I mean, look at the corner supports on these. It's just a plastic piece and a bunch of freaking staples. Something I will be upgrading is the um, runners for sure. Um, they are ball bearing, but they're like the bottom of the line. So what we're doing now is I actually have to remove this so I can run my drill up through here in a few spots uh, to be able to put the countertop down and fasten it in place. So that's what we're going to do next. Holes. And I've had to remove a few drawers here and there plus the runners to be able to get in here. Anybody's freaking out saying why you get your hand on top well I've got this set to the right level so it stops inside here it's not going to come up through so I wasn't going to drill in my hand unless the bit collar moved which I guess then I would have been in for a big surprise now this one in here now here's another thing again that cabinet they're all together look at the thickness of this back panel look at the thickness of this look at the wood difference this is like sawdust and glue. This is MDF, which is the modified density fiber. So, I mean, they can't even be consistent on their building materials. What, uh, what brand? I'm going to tell you what brand this is here. So you know. Now this one here. <laughs> what a, what a, I am just thoroughly disappointed with the quality of this thing. This one. It come out this way. It doesn't slide off. All right, so I have one pretty much at each corner. One here and here going up, one here and here going up, and then one there and one over there. So I think that'll do it. Now I'm not gonna put the runners back in because I gotta screw the top down and I'll have to still get to these holes. The next thing is getting the top on and I don't know if I can do that by myself. Oh, geez, it's pretty heavy. Ah. Oh yeah, we got it. Okay. Now I gotta make sure I leave the proper overhang on both sides. So right now, that's about exactly one inch over. <laughs> Let's see if I got it close, just doing it myself. And that's three quarters. So I gotta go, what was that, a eighth of an inch that way. Seven eighths of an inch hangover and seven eighths of an inch hangover. So that's where we're gonna go. That's where she's gonna sit. So I think what we'll do is get the front, we'll do like the front first here, that corner, we'll do the two middles and then we'll pull the back down. That way we can make sure this is uh, pushed tight and against the front uh, before we um, worry about the back. So many of you guys remember my other cabinet that was here at my counter. Uh, I had this back on it. So I'm actually putting that back on right now, but I just want to show you I've got um, the drawer runners all back in place. Cupboards are all taken care of because we got to get all the sawdust out of here and clean up. And these got to be adjusted, more sawdust. But all this is in place now. The countertop is fastened down. Uh, and I did use pocket hole screws along the front. I was not able to use them along the back um, because, well, once again, 
Uh, this is a Home Depot countertop and this thing has a slight bow to it. So what I've done um, and what I'm going to do is I will use pocket holes back, pocket screws back there because I have the holes all drilled as you saw earlier when I did it, um, but I have no screws in them yet. So um, I measured this back panel to be the right height. I'm going to pull the countertop down where it needs to be. As you can see, I'll fasten it up here and then I'll go back inside and put pocket hole screws. And so this thing will be really secure. Make it more rigid is what I was trying to say um, as well. So I'll put a few screws across here uh, and across the bottom. And that'll tie the cabinets in with each other um, on top of the fact that they are screwed together internally as well. This, uh, so you can see the back's on it now. That's uh, the last thing I was working on. And now all I gotta do is do the bar top. So I'll probably end this video here and do the other video um, for the bar top separate. Thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please like, subscribe, comment, come back often for more videos. And don't forget to uh, click on one of the videos up in the corner here. I'll put actually a link to the bar top once it's done um, in the corner uh, up here as well as um, another video over here and of course don't put, forget to click on the channel icon down the bottom corner there to subscribe and as always have a great day